hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to knit this stitch actually I did a tutorial in 2016 in Turkish <laughs> and I received so many messages emails asking me to do it in English and I totally forgot about it I am so sorry it's been six years and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I better make a tutorial. So we're going to be knitting this beautiful stitch. Uh, this is something different. It's done in three knit, three purl, three knit, three purl. And then what we do is we move one stitch so we need it's like a cable stick doing a cable but it's totally different it's super easy and look at this isn't isn't this fantastic okay so cast on multiple of nine uh, i think 60 there's 30 stitches here so uh, for the 30 stitches i only did two and on the second one i did one so two one so 30 is not enough so i would highly recommend you to cast on 61 or something more than 30 okay and I'll be right back and before I send you I'll show you the back how it looks like the back is what you see is what you knit so three knit three purl three knit three purl it's done in three ways and I believe this stitch is called I'm just trying to figure out what's it called um, yeah I think it's called the easy smoke smoked rib knitting stitch I don't know but I think that, that one that stitch is done in uh, two like two knit two purl two knit two purl so uh, the yarn that I'm using is a five weight so I'm just gonna grab my seven millimeter knitting needle and I will start casting on total of 61 and I'll be right back okay so I have cast on total of 61 stitches so this is the wrong side of the work and this is the right side so I'm just gonna knit this first row and then when I come to the right side or what I can do yeah let's just knit and uh, I just need to show you that we need the two stitches at the beginning purl and then we're gonna start the pattern which is three knit three purl three knit three purl and I'll be right back okay so I have knit the wrong side and now we're at the front okay so front is where we put the pattern but uh, first we need to knit six rows and then start the pattern okay so the first two stitches I'm just gonna go slide this one and I'm just gonna purl this one and then what I'm going to do is knit three two three and then purl three so one two and three and this is all I'm gonna do for six rows uh, I wanted to so show you the beginning because this is the beginning and we need you know, the stitch the pattern is gonna start right here so I just needed that extra two stitches so uh, I said multiple of nine I would say multiple of nine plus one or even two so we need this extra two stitches or maybe multiple of 10 you can and then add one stitch if you want to knit a baby blanket if you want to knit a cardigan oh this would be fantastic for uh sweaters uh, vests anything uh, to give that cable look Aaron look so this is what i'm going to do knit two knit three purl three and uh, i will come and show you the end of the row okay so i am almost at the end just wanted to show you so we did three knit three purl three knit okay and the end should be ending with two stitches
stitches so I'm just gonna purl those and then knit this one so this one the first one I don't knit always and this is uh, a little bit wide <laughs> so just want to point out but because of the nature of the pattern it, it is going to shrink it's gonna tie it's like these belt that we're going to be creating so these belts what they do is they put the nine stitches together and then there's always three knits in between and then again nine stitches so that is going to shrink okay so the wrong side again what we do is we see what we knit okay we knit what we see so the first one i slided and knit this stitch and then you will see three purl three knit okay so we're going to continue doing this total of six rows and after knitting the six on the seventh i believe seventh okay so i will come back and show you how to start the stitch okay so i have knit i believe eight rows just to give because it's the beginning of the scarf right so i just wanted to give some time so I would highly recommend you to get one of these tools. This is a cable stitch tool that you, that I use when I'm knitting cables. And you need a crochet hook. This helps a lot because, uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult to move the stitches around. So uh, I'm going to start the on the right side. I'm going to start the pattern. I know it looks wide, but... Believe me, it's going to shrink. <laughs> uh, the wide, it's going to get thinner because of this technique. Okay, so first I don't knit the stitch. And the second stitch is a purl stitch. Okay, so this stitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to put this on the front and sit it. And then I'm going to knit two. Okay, because I got rid of one stitch, it's, it's not got, it's not, lost or anything it's still there but i need to get the three knit stitch so i'm going to make a stitch make a stitch like this grab it from there so i made a stitch and i'm going to purl the three stitches that i see in front of me okay i'm going to knit the two one stitch and i'm going to need to get rid of one stitch because i'm going to move this there i'm going to make a belt Okay, just like this. So I got rid of one stitch. I knit it together. So this is the best way because there's a pretty gap there. I need to grab and try not to twist your knit stitch. And what I do is this technique is way easier than trying to knit that stitch. And I, this is how I do it. And try not to twist your stitch just like this. So this stitch is knit. So I'm going to put this stitch right here. Okay, and I'm going to purl three stitches. Three stitches like this. And I'm going to make another set. See? And then you will see that the wide will disappear. The wide, remember I said it's pretty wide, but it's not. Believe it or not. Because the three stitches, the nine stitches that we have knit, there's a little belt between that holding that we just create. So I'm going to make another one. Okay, to make another one. Either you can hold it like this, but this will, it will fell. So I love this cable tool that I just put it here and it stays there so I won't lose it. And what I do is I continue knitting again. I'm going to repeat what I just showed you. One, two, and I'm going to make one. Okay. And I'm going to purl one, two, three. I'm going to knit one. And I'm going to get rid of one. So knit these two together. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to repeat what I just showed you at the beginning. So grab this knit, this stitch. My window is open. I'm sorry. It's pretty cool here. Okay. Try not to twist this. Okay. So this is right. 
hold it like this and then knit make a knit stitch just like this put it back here and I knit the purl stitches okay and I repeat it over and over see and I grab this first stitch I knit and I make one the third just like this one two three and knit one get rid of one so we have two knit and I put that right over there I will uh, put the link when the tutorial that I did in 2016 it's Turkish uh, and, but the the quality of the video is terrible <laughs> because I had my Canon camera then and uh, it was just blurry all the time all the way this is way better quality <laughs> okay and knit that put that back and put that back right here see it would create that uh, belt knit three always knit the uh, pearl three in between just like this oh my goodness what is that so I'm gonna make uh, two more so I'm gonna make one here these nine stitches and one here let me show you I just want you to uh, at the beginning, you will be confused. You were wondering, what is she doing? Because uh, the tutorial that I did in 2016, when I tried to watch it, I said, oh my goodness, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, especially for new beginners. So uh, you will get confused, but try not to. It's a super easy stitch, pattern stitch. Okay, so we have two and we make one. And then we purl three always three three knit one we get rid of one because we have that spare knitting stitch sitting there right and then what we do is we grab our crochet hook um this is the easiest way with the crochet hook and again try not to twist it hold it like this and you will see that it's not twisted and grab it like this and pull this will stretch see nothing to worry about and this is the easiest way to knit put the stitch right back on the needle okay and again one two three and make it one more time and after that this row we knit uh, we knit total of six rows and we repeat it we repeat it but we don't re we don't do it the same way as when we started here what we do is we move it around so I will show you how to do that so again this is the last time to make one purl three Knit one, get rid of one, and put that over there. So that would be the third. Oh, I'm so sorry, I touched the handle. So we grab this stitch, I'm always checking out to twist it and then you will notice okay and the last two we purl 
and this one I just score it like this, knit it, and then when I'm knitting this side, I don't knit it, I slide it this way. And what happened here? It looks like the yarn split. Yeah, just be cautious. Grab the entire. It's a very soft yarn. Here we go. Fix it. And then the wrong side. So again, six more rows. We're just going to knit, knit, knit. It's going to be a little bit tough here because of the belt. But try to knit this stitch very carefully. Purl three, knit three, purl three. And then I will meet you six rows later. And I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to come and show you how it looks like. So I knit the wrong side. Now I'm at the front. And then you just knit three, knit three, purl three, knit. And then you just continue knitting. There's There will be a gap. Nothing to worry. It will pull it by itself. There be there will be a little bit of gap, but that's okay. okay. And actually, when I knit one, two, three, four, five, I actually knit five. So six, on the sixth row, we do the stitch pattern on the front so on the six so we knit back and forth five times and then uh, we start a new one so it's every well, every six rows still on the six we create a new one okay so i will finish and i will come to start you start with the new row ta-da see how <laughs> it shrinks because of the belt Okay, so we're going to start another row of the belt row. I'm calling it the belt row. I know it's been called so many different names. Easy smoked rib stitch. I don't know. Okay, but uh, this is done in three. I think the easy uh, smoked rib stitch is done in two. Like two knit, two purl. This is done in three. So this is a little bit different and... The way the belt is uh, knit. Okay, so let's start a new row. The first two rows. Are going to be slide purl. So this first row. Now this first, I'm just going to knit, and then I'm going to purl the three stitches right here. Okay, so we're going to start the new set of nine. So as you can see, we're going to do this three, this three, three knit, three purl, three, three knit. Okay. So again, I'm going to do what I did on the first time I showed you. Put this aside. It's just the way that you move the stitches. So after when you do this row, you knit five rows on the sixth row, you repeat what I showed you. And you knit five more rows on the sixth row, you repeat this. So it's repeat after repeat. Okay, I hope I'm clear enough. I'm trying to explain as much as I can. So, knit two, make one. Because this stitch, this knit stitch isn't sitting there, right? But I need to make one. Purl three, including that stitch that we made. Knit one. And get rid of one stitch, which is knit two together. Okay. And then we knit this one. Again, try not to twist it. Grab it. And I 
try to pull this. This is going to stretch. The stitch will stretch, so you don't have to worry about it. Try to knit this part as tight as you can. Or you can go like this. Put that knit stitch right there. And then pull as tight as you can. Okay, we made a belt. Now I'm going to repeat this. Knit three. Grab the tool or something that you won't lose that stitch because it will frog easily. Knit two. Make a knit stitch. Grab it like that. Purl three. Knit one. Knit two together. Just like this. And then repeat what we just did. Put it like this and try to tighten that because we don't want this part to be loosened. Right, that is pretty loose. Always there's knit three between. Between. Okay, and here we're going to make another one. And here we're going to make another one. So it's just a repeat. And then here we knit. When we make this last set, we knit these as regular. And then you knit back, forth, back, forth, five times. And when you come to the sixth row, we do this row. Okay. Let me show you one more time. Or two more time. Put, put this aside so you won't lose it. You knit. And try to knit that tight as you can. Knit. Make one. So the third is a make one. Okay. And then purl. Pearl, pearl, knit, knit two together, ta-da, put that back there. Try to pull it as tight as you can. One, two, three. When you're knitting the wrong side, it's going to be a little bit tight, but that's okay. Okay, and then we make another one. Which one? This is the last one for this row. So this aside just like that one two make one pearl 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 knit one knit two together This is how I did on that first tutorial I just want to show you. So what I did is try to put this here. And I try to knit this and it's very difficult because it's so tight with those uh, uh, stitches. See, and then you knit it. See, this is a little bit tighter when you look at it. It is tight. See? And then you just knit. Okay. 
and yet what you see. And yet the last stitch, when I turn my work, I just slide it because I want to give that nice edge. And then I will knit five more rows. So I, I will see you on the sixth row. And I will show you how it's done. Okay. Be right back. Okay. So I have knit five more rows. And on the sixth row, I'm going to start making the uh, belt. And this is how it looks like. Can you see how it shrinked? <laughs> How, how wide it was and then this happens because of the belt it's picking up those nine stitches right and here we did we moved so what we're going to do is we're going to go back where we started uh, at the first row and then the first two stitches slide this one purl this one and rest the first stitch on a tool like this it doesn't matter it can be a stick anything you, you can hold that stitch there and then we're going to knit to make a knit stitch i grab it like that and then purl the three stitch knit one get rid of one because we have that one sitting there and what you do is either you can pull it or use a crochet hook which crochet a hook is way easier and just pull this as tight as I can and then put that stitch back on that needle it was a little bit tough and tie it and then purl the three stitch and then repeat repeat it Okay, repeat what I just did. And it gives you this beautiful design. Can you see? Let me do it one more time. So you can see it. Uh, the end result is fantastic. So I just wanted to share this in English. Because I already did a tutorial in Turkish years ago. can't believe time flies by. Okay. Knit two, make one knit, purl three, knit one, get rid of the knits, the one of the knit stitches, knit two together, and then grab this one just like this. And then put that stitch back over there and tighten as, as tight as you can. And ta-da! See how it looks? Isn't this fantastic? So I hope you like this tutorial. I just wanted to share in English. I already did it years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial is way better than the other tutorial. And I will... Uh, put it under when you go to settings you can translate it to any language you want so uh that is already done most of my tutorials are done so you just go to settings and settings and you translate it to your own language but i do speak english this is an english tutorial so i hope you like this tutorial it's super easy it's just a belt how we um pull the the stitch to that stitch and then make it and it's super soft just want to point out it is super soft and i really like it so i'm planning to make this a scarf and i will put this on my youtube uh, my uh, etsy shop yeah the yarn is super soft i'm sure there will be a buyer for this lovely scarf that i'm making but i'm not going to make it on entirely the stitch uh, this will be the edges and I will go from there. 
So stay tuned for my other tutorials. I am going to be making another tutorial. The stitch is uh, like a cable stitch, but it's different. Um, try, I'm trying to figure out what it's called in English, but it's in Turkish it's called the kafe çekirdek. Kafe means coffee, and uh, çekirdek means seed, so it looks like a coffee seed. I'll name it coffee seed. <laughs> the the stitch, the pattern itself. So uh, you can go from there. It, it is uh, like this done in rib. So uh, stay tuned for that. That is coming up next. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified, indicating there's something new for you to watch. You guys take care. Happy knitting. Bye-bye. That stretch.